Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we're back with our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke part of the 20 years of Pokemon celebration and uh, I've been loving the support you guys had for the first episode so keep it up, keep it up, it's really cool. I haven't had time to uh, reply to comments yet but I'll be doing that right after I'm finished recording this episode. So nobody said anything about Reddit. Ratatata, Ratatata, Ratata, Ratatata. Um, so Rat again. So we put, I threw him in the PC, boxed him up real good, and I did a little bit of grinding off screen. Uh, so I'm just, I'll just show you those quick. We're not gonna go into in depth team analysis. Uh, it's just that Putz is level ten, Stud Muffin's level ten, and Little Pidge stayed at level three. I really didn't have a need to grind up Little Pidge quite yet, so I didn't worry about it. Um, I just wanted Stun Muffin up to a point where he could get double kicked this episode, and then Putz just up to a level where he wouldn't die quite yet. Um, so we had the suggestion about Pikachu uh, that we just let Brock decide its fate. I don't know that I'll do that, um, just because I would like to have it to get Bulbasaur, um, because you need Pikachu to get Bulbasaur in this game. So I think I'm going to keep him up until then, and then we'll see. We'll see how he's doing at that point. But in this episode, we're going to... We're gonna, if you guys don't know, right here we battle our rival, Young T. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get up to Brock this episode. That's we got a big plan today. So let's get to it. Let's do it to it like Mama used to do it to it. Um, here we go. Hey, 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 shop. Hey, yo, shop. We're going to Pokemon. Le we're going to Pokemon League. <laughs> T really knows how to use that English. Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Because I'm about to test them. Well, they did, Young T. They did. In fact, I got more Pokemons now. Spiro, I spit on your Spiro. <laughs> so, you can see I fixed the screen. I actually did something for once I said I was going to do in the last episode. So, fix the screen. Pikachu! Pikachu! You need to one-hit KO these Spiros! The nice thing about this game is that, um... Your rival doesn't have a Pokemon that's super effective against yours, or resist yours. So I could just stay in here with Pikachu, but again, we need that Nidoran to get double kick. We need Nidoran to get double kicked, so. Now level 10 might have been a little too high of a level, but I they get to, uh, we, there was just a level 9 spear right there, and they get to level 9 in the Viridian Forest as well, so that's why I went to level 10. Plus then Stud Muffin's only two away from getting double kick. I already said that. Just reiterating it. Ow. That kind of hurt a little bit. Stop. Don't do that, because I kind of need this to beat the next gym. Oh, a giant spider on my wall. But that's fine. Spiders eat other bugs, so as long as it uh, isn't messing with me, cool. If I wake up with spider bites in the morning, I'm going to find you and kill you dead. <laughs> I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dialing and get a move on. I kind of started making him a little flamboyant there. T, my boy, you okay? You okay? So this this is a weird spot up here. I wonder if there's an item up here. I've never actually checked this out. I think... Oh, Pikachu. How's it going? Get out of the way. Idiot. You an idiot. Okay, apparently there isn't. Apparently there isn't an item. So what's the point of this? Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just do that. No! Half turn. No! Uh, up, and then... There we go. Nothing. Up, and... Nothing. Up, and... Nothing. Well, what the barnacles is the point of this? Why is this here? Out of my face with that. Out of my face with that. Alright. Mankey. Yeah, there's like a poop ton of Mankeys here and we didn't get one. I wouldn't actually mind to use Mankey because I n never use Primate. I use Needle Queen all the time, so Needle King is no different for me. So I would have liked to have Mankey, but alas, Earwax, what can you do? Again, guys, remember if you uh, want to see this, if you want to support the series, be sure to hit that like button and uh, share it with your friends. Say, hey, friends, you want to see some cool ass Pokemon? Go here. Shop just game. Um, and again, if you guys are coming to this channel looking for competitive content, it'll be back. Just give me a little bit. There's a bug on there. Can you see it? There was a, I, there's a little bug. On, oh, it's coming back. Let's see if we can see it walking around. A little bug. Okay, left. 
It left. All right. Um. With that being said, oh, I was gonna check check the map, goof. Does any? Oh, there's no map in here. What the? What the? Map? It must be in people's houses. If you guys know the reference to check the map, goof, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, if she don't know the reference, check the map, goof. She too young for you, bro. That's a window. Um, I was gonna, oh rules. I came up. I came up with the rules that I was thinking of for this whole entire series. Where the f is the map? I know there's maps somewhere around here. I just wanted to. Okay, wait. No, wait. No. Oh, I don't know. Cause I was. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Let's. Oh wait. Here's another house. Maybe this one has a map. Map? Do you have a map? Yeah, you do. Town map. All right, so I was just checking encounters. Okay, so Pallet Town, Route 1. We got our Pidgey, Viridian City, Route 2, Viridian Forest, Diglett's Cave, Peter City. So Route 2 is still at the end of Viridian Forest here. All right. I was just checking where we got all of our Pokemon at and if that was a separate route because I didn't think it was. And then we got our, our Nidoran... On route 22, so I'm gonna actually type that down right now. I have a little, I have a little post-it note going on here. There we go. All right, bring that back. All right, so new rule, uh, not new rules, but rules for future. Because if you didn't know, uh, for the Pokemon, the special po 20 years of Pokemon series that we're doing with Nuzlocke in all the main series games, um, I decided. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you don't like this, uh, let me know what you'd like to change. We would... So, say I'd be Pokemon Yellow. I'm hoping I do. All the Pokemon that didn't die would end up... I could, I'm going to try. I, I don't know how to hack Pokemon into ROMs. I have to figure that out. But they would all transfer over to the next game, Pokemon Crystal. I couldn't use any of the Pokemon that... I, ha I have to catch a Pokemon that is the same level or higher than the Pokemon I'd be transferring. So say, this Pikachu right now. Say I boxed him right now. And uh, he he survived the, Elp, the Nuzlocke and he went over to Pokemon Crystal. I couldn't use Pikachu until I had a level 10 Pokemon or higher. So that's that's what I, I was planning on that. And then um, all those Pokemon that get transferred count as for dupes clause for the next game. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um... For those of you who don't know, I'm not a very good Nuzlocker, so uh, not a lot of Pokemon would probably transfer over. That's why I think it'd work in this series. Some people who are really good at these and get like tons of really good Pokemon by the end, um, probably not as much. But I think for your old Sharp Dress Gaming, it'll work out. So I could level up my Pidge. I'm going to do that. Alright, so, I don't think I had anything else for rules. If I forgot something, I'll try and remember for next time. I'll try and remember for next time, folks. Oh, this is our first encounter of Reading Forest. Yes, Caterpie. Caterpie, 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 That's not how Caterpie sounds at all. I was hoping for Caterpie here. Because Weedle, Beedrill kind of sucks. Whereas you can kind, you can kind of use Butterfree. And I'm actually thinking about adding Caterpie to the team, even though it add another rock weakness. Um, for now, because this is really the only point in the game you can use a Caterpie. Or a Butterfree. Or a Butter Catter. Or a Catter Butter. Uh, just because it doesn't have enough stats to do anything in the rest of the game. I mean, you can you can try it. I'm not going to tell you not to use Butterfree in the Elite Four. I'm not going to, if I don't have to. So I think we'll use it now, just to help us get through, and then we'll get rid of it later. If you touch the feeler on top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. That's what I do. People touch the top of my head, I release a horrible stink. So my Caterpies are always called... Butterface. It's actually my, my Butterfreeze that are called that, not my Caterpies. But What kind of magic are you using that you're not in the grass? Hi, do you have a Pikachu? Do you see what's walking behind me, lady? It's a Pikachu. Alright. Nidoran female. Woman. I almost called her boy. Boy! <laughs> Alright. So Stun Muffin needs one more level here. To get to a 
Well, he doesn't evolve. He just gets double kick. Which is what we need. We do have to figure out what we're going to do about Sanchu and Diglett. Diglett. I mean, we can just attack with Niran. They don't, I don't think they have Dig or anything like that. Sanchu doesn't because it... Oh, it doesn't even learn Dig by level up, I don't think, in this game. I, yeah, because I think it's Sanchu and Sand Slash don't learn any ground type moves in red, blue, and yellow. Crazy. And then we have a Nidoran male. Let's get let's get some. Cause I'm not sure I want to use Butterface yet. I think we're gonna skip out on using Butterface. We're gonna box Butterface right now. We're gonna box Butterface for right now. So we'll bring Pidgey back in. Get some more EXP for the Pidge. Ow. So we'll probably use um. Yeah, I'd like to get Pidgey some experience. Because then we can use it on uh, Diglett and uh, Sanshrew. I think that Diglett's level 11 and Sanshrew's level 9? I can't remember. I can't remember. I haven't played this game in a while. Level 4. You know, actually, I just I just played it with... I just got through Brock with T and Joey in our Let's Play. By the way, if you guys haven't pestered jo uh, Tiki yet to finish the RBY Nuzlocke, with its boys, then you best go do it right now. Because we want to get that series going again, because it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing with those two. Alright, 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 alright. Don't you battle me? I guess not. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. I do. Always do. Oh, I forgot to type down. Um. For Indian Forest. Catter P, which name is Butterface? Butters. I'm Butters. Right. Hey, it's a Butterface. I'm just going insane now. I just woke up from a nap, you know. So now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. Uh, I might save some of these trainers for grinding just because we do have to get through Viridian and then through Brock. So it's quite a bit to do in one episode. So I might save these for later and just fight the ones I have to. Pidgey's level 5. Hooray, Pidgey. And learn Sand Attack. Hooray, Pidgey. As long as Nidoran gets to level 12, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. But that's just me. Alright, so switch back into Nidoran. Switch back into Nidoran. Yeah, I, f I forgot how hard it is to let's play with your 3DS just sitting on your desk. Because you're used to holding it, obviously. But I don't want like the cord to be pulling on the port for the capture card. So I let mine sit down. And it's, it's fine when you're competitive battling because you're not sitting there pushing buttons the whole time. But for Let's Plays, it's a little hard. But I think the only games we're going to be able to Let's Play on the actual 3DS is uh, this one, yellow version, and uh, Y version. Obviously, we couldn't do Crystal or Emerald or... Well, we could... It would be only be Crystal and Emerald we couldn't do on here. But I recently had to... S sell some of my Pokemon games to pay for bills, so I don't have them right now, but maybe we'll be good financially where I could get them back by the point we get to them. At least I'm hoping. It's looking good for your boy right now, financially. Ah, poop. Ah, poop. So, we should be able to figure it out. We should, may be able to get the rest of them on the actual game. Not that it really matters. Um, but I'd like to own them again. But I'd like to own sealed copies, you know? I'm just rambling at this point. Um, but I do need to write down Viridian Trainer, just so I don't forget that there's Viridian Trainers left. There's one right now. I passed by one. So I can come back and actually battle him for EXP later. Why is my pen being weird? Why is my pen being weird? I was going to go get some Chicken McNugs before I did this, but it's 12.42, and it was like 12.45 when I, like, I want some Chicken McNugs, 
I'm not going to be that guy that goes to McDonald's 13 minutes before it closes just to get some McNugs. Because the McDonald's I live by closes at midnight, which is dumb because it's right on the highway. So it should stay open all night. But alas, God hates me. And it just changed like that right before I moved here. And it was like, because it used to be 24 hours. Then right before I moved here, they're like, oh, that fatty's moving into town. He's going to eat us out. So, Or not, he's going to eat all of our food. I shouldn't say just eat us out, you know. But, um, so they, they changed it to 12 hours. So now, and like... The only thing that'd be open right now is Taco Bell. I don't want to poop my pants. I don't want to poop my pants tonight, please. I might, I might go get some Taco Bell. <laughs> but then Walmart's open 24 hours, which is weird. The Wal, the the worst Walmart in the world is in the town I live in, and it's open 24 hours, but the McDonald's not. That's garbage. Alert! Double kick. We're ready to take on Brock. We're ready for that boy. We're ready for the boy. So unfortunately, the only encounter we're going to have this episode is going to be that Caterpie. That Caterpie we had. And Pidgey's high enough level now, it can fend for itself for the most part, so. So, that's good. That's good, little Pidge. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And that's the thing about playing it on the game, too, is I can't speed up like stupid battles like this. Whereas in the ROMs, I'll be able to speed the poop out of them. Oh, and also if I did like Platinum and Black and White on, on the actual game, I would have a harder time getting the our past Pokemon into those games. So I'll probably just do those on ROMs. I won't have a problem with Y version because I, I have a way to get Pokemon into that game easy. It's just everything else. It's just everything else. And obviously this game is fine because it's the first game, so there is no Pokemon to port. That kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. All right. We're almost through Viridian, boys. We're almost there. I don't think I missed any items. I might have. I got the Pokeball. That's really the only one I care about. I think there's a rare candy, though. I can't remember. I'll, if there is, I'll come get it during, during my off-screen grinding. Caterpie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write item question mark. Alright. Alright. There's one more battle we have to do. Oh wait, it'd be right over here. This is the item. That was a potion. I thought there's rare candy in here, but I must be mistaken. I know there's a potion up here, right next to this guy. Like you have to talk to him and then it spawns, I think is what happens. I'm going to cross off that item then. But I'm not too worried about it right now. Canopy. Ooh, level 10. Your boy coming out hard in the paint. I think Pidgey will be fine fighting it, though. It's a stupid Caterpie. What's it going to do? Tackle me to death? No, it ain't. It bloody well ain't. Yeah, our Gus is just doing the damage. And he's an idiot, and he's string shot him, even though we're already slower than him. We started off slower than you, idiot. And it, good job. Good job. Good job, NPC. You the you the real MVP. NPC MVP. Gust, gust, gust. Alright. So we took no damage in that battle. And Pidgey's level 9. Pidgey already catching up. Little Pidge. Alright. Alright. Let me out of this stupid forest. Hey, it's a little pidge. Level four, level little pidge. Level four, little pidge. Yeah, because the only Pokemon we could have caught out of this forest was Caterpie. I don't even think we can get Weedle in this game. I just remembered. I don't think Weedles, you can encounter Weedle in yellow version. Because they're like, you have to be Ash and catch uh, Caterpies. So I think the only Pokemon we could have got was Caterpie. Because so I think it's just Caterpie. Um... Maybe Metapod, and then Pidgey and Pidgeotto. So, I think it was a guarantee, boys. We can just walk right past this, because we already found out this is still Route 2. And we can get right into Pewter. Look at it, and the screen turns Pewter colored. Nice. Nice. 
So I'm going to heal up, toss Caterpie into the box with Radigan. And I was trying to think if there's anything worth my time in this town other than Brock. Because, I mean, there's the old Amber, but I can't get that right now. When do you get cut in this game? Oh, and that's St. Anne. Why didn't I remember that? But yeah, outside of Brock and the old Amber, I don't think there's anything worth my time in this town. I think there's a free potion somewhere, maybe. Um, but yeah, like I don't, I don't do much of the exploring anymore in these games. What? Team Rock is Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram! Shut up. Shut your dirty mouth. Mount Moon. That will be the exciting episode. Not really. Kind of. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I don't think anybody has anything for me around here. There's, it's still the beginning of the game where they're telling you stupid poop that you don't need that you don't need to know if you don't know how to play the game um but there i think there's wait do you do it did you check out the museum no he just brings me a museum oh frick i should have said yes i meant no i don't want you to take me to the museum so i knew there's one person that carried you around somewhere i thought it was the person that brought you to the pokemart and gave you a potion but that's not it at all Obviously, he was standing right next to Mart. It wouldn't have made sense for him otherwise. Otherwise, Nidorans. Yeah, you're not going to give me anything good either. Idiots. Yeah, idiots. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, ladies. Ladies. So, in the museum, you just pay money to do nothing, which is cool. I don't think there's any items back here. I'm not going to take the time to look. I'm not going to take the time to look. We have a gym to win. We've done enough screwing around this episode. Went through Viridian. We go into the gym now. We go into the gym now, boys. Let's see if Pidgey can take these two on. Let's see if Pidgey can take these two on. Famous last words. Diglett. Oh, so Diglett's level 9. Sandshrew's level 11. My Pidgey's level 9. We looking good. Diglett don't do too much damage. Ow! That was a crit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine if that's a crit. Let's see how much Pidgey does. Pidge! My boy! The 2 hit KO. The 2 hit KO. Oh, Pidgey. Pidgey. Crit me again. Back off! Diglett! Diglett! Alright. <clears throat> Pidgey's level 10. Cool. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. Let's bring in Stun Muffin and see if we can get him an extra level. Right. Oh, at level 9 as well. What is happening with my cord? It's like wrapped around the mic. The mic that I don't use. Alright. So that does okay damage. Sandshrew's gonna scratch me. That does no damage. So we good to go. We good to go. It's gonna be a cake walk. Cake by the ocean, even. Stop crating me. You're slower than me. Hmm. Alright. We get the crit. Good. Teach us Henshu a lesson. And we didn't even get a level off that. Come on. Come on. Need a ran. Need a ran, my boy. You need to get a level. <coughs> Probably won't have an evolution until next episode. I mean, I know we. I, I know we won't have an evolution until next episode. We're only level twelve with Nidoran and level ten with Pidgey. Pidgey has eight more levels. Nidoran has four. Maybe we won't even get one then. Might have to wait till um, Cerulean. Cerulean City. Oh, the Cave of Wonders is going to be a nightmare with this team. I mean, you don't really. You don't typically run into Geo dudes as often. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Zubats we can just demolish through. That'll be fine. Yeah, we should be fine in that whole cave. I'm really hoping to catch a Geodude in there. If I do catch a Geodude, you already know we bind another copy of um, Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow onto our uh, 2DS. So then I can evolve it. We could even evolve Pikachu that way if we wanted to. We want to be a dick. Um, all right. Oh, I should switch. Stud Muffin for Little Pidge. I'm Brock. You think you're Brock, but you ain't. You ain't even Brock. I should have read that. I was a gym leader. 
That was a gym leader. I should have read his text. Brock wants to fight. Geodude. Geodude. I forgot Geodude got a cooler sprite in this game. Some Pokemon got cooler sprites. Some of them kind of suck, to be honest with you. Like, I don't like Needle King sprite in this game. Crit! First double kick's a crit! Come on, get another one. Oh, I think they they um, they um automatically both crit if you crit the first one. With uh, multiple hitting moves. Nice! Geodude was Cakewalk! Stud him off with level 13. Even better. Onyx. Now... I think I'm just going to straight up... Oh, he could bide. Oh, I have Leer on this thing. Why am I worrying about it? Okay, he tackled me. That does nothing. That does nothing. Don't you screech at me ever again, boy. All right, that should be enough for double kick. That should be enough for double kicks. Oh, my God. Don't do this to me, Onyx. Don't be a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Okay. Why does Screech keep failing on me? That's so weird. Crit him. Get another. And you obviously get another crit uh, instantaneously. So that's where a point where, if, yep, if he goes for bide, we should be able to KO him from here. Before he can get his bite off. Crit him again. Oh, didn't even need it. See you in hell, Onyx. See you in hell, Onyx. Level 14. Nina ran. <laughs> You bring a tear to my eye. That was cake. <coughs> As a proof of your victory, here's the bold badge. And the uses TM bide. It's about the technique flash cannot be used any time. I put a shirt on finally. Wait, take this with you. I don't want it. I'ma sell it. I'ma sell it. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, it picks the Pokemon carefully. TM-34 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle and then pay it back double. I guess that's good for Onyx, because Onyx can usually take a lot of hits, but not really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw that in the garbage Brock, thanks. But anyway, guys, so that's going to be the episode. First badge, down and out, no problem. So, uh, yeah. Again, let me know what you think about the new rules, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about Caterpie. Do you want to join the team or not? Nah? Otherwise, it's, we're going to leave in the box. But thank you guys again so much for joining me today. And we'll see you tomorrow with episode 3 where we're going to Moat Moon. Mount Moon? Mount? Mountain Moon. Stay sharp, everyone. <laughs>